So this 19 year old girl uh, from somewhere in Africa, she came to us with a very typical problem. She had a disease called sickle cell disease. So typically what happens in this disease is, is that your own blood cells, they become crooked because of hypoxia. In any, any stress, any hypoxia, any lack of oxygen can cause your blood cells to become crooked and sickle shaped. So those sickle shaped blood cells get clogged in your arteries and they subsequently damage your end organs. So in her case, she had been having this problem since the last 10 years. She had many episodes of sickle cell crisis in which her uh, small blood vessels get, got clogged because of these crooked blood cells and, uh, and subsequently led to arthritis because of bone death, led to arthritis of both the hips. It was a very severe arthritis that she came up, came up with and uh, she had a lot of pain even in standing, walking, even getting up from a chair was a very difficult activity for her. Coming, I said to Barry, in the Gambia, we are in the Sanar Hospital. We are in the Missel, we are in the Missel, we are in the Indian Hospital of Kosana. We are in the Alhamdulillah, we are in the Alhamdulillah, we are in the Alhamdulillah. Yes, my name is Seydou Jala from the Gambia, West Africa. Yes, I came with my niece all the way from Gambia to India for treatment. She was adopting her sickness for a long time to India for her to have her treatment. She was having hip problem. But thank God and the doctors in Sonar Hospital, till I have the success of the operation of my niche, she is now okay. She is on her feet. She can walk comfortably. She has been lying down for more than 10 years. But now we thank God that she is better. She is okay. So once that was the medical management part was done with, we planned for a hip replacement in her case uh, and uh, did that in two separate sittings at a gap of around 15 days between the two. Uh, so there is another typical thing about the, these kinds of hip replacement is that the bones are very, very hard and brittle. So you have to use some special kinds of implants, uh, very tiny sized stems and all for, uh, for putting those implants inside. So they have to be customized according to them. And uh, uh, only, there are only few companies in the world who come up with such implants. And uh, our prior experience with such patients helped us in navigating through this uh, patient management quite smoothly. Everything went according to plan and now she is uh, a few weeks down the line and walking very well and very happy about the result.